You know, these days, if you walk around the city with a camera, nobody looks at you. You're just one of many zillions of people clicking away, pointing and clicking and pointing and clicking. But this photograph was taken before. Um, I think you you did have the ability to take photographs on a phone, but the the hottest phone at the time of taking this was probably one of those super thin Motorola ones, you know, the Foldy StarTac or whatever it was called. And so walking around with a camera meant that you did attract attention. And this is out in NDSM or towards uh, close to NDSM. Um, I believe there is now, where this man is sitting, there is now a path leading to a quite an, uh, fancy yacht club or restaurant or something like that but back then it was much uh, wilder uh, opposite this guy that you can't see i had just climbed onto this red boat um i think it was a it, are they called fire ships or like um it has a kind of lighthouse in the middle of the boat i'm not sure what they're called but there was one and it was just there and there was nobody on it and even though there was a rope that seemed to indicate that people shouldn't get on, but I did get on, wander around, took a few pictures. Uh, and as I got off, this guy's there. And I'd seen him, but he, he, he sort of said hello, and we ended up in this conversation. And he's a native. He's a nat native Amsterdamer. And he was already t talking about how the city was going to the dogs. It was doing all kinds of stuff. And his solution was... Um, he, or he did sort of make a joke about it, about drinking Heineken. He said, Heineken helps him forget. And uh, we just chatted for a bit. Um, I can't quite remember why he put his hands up. There's something, we were talking, and he said, he wanted me to take his photograph. And we got into some conversation about whatever, I don't know what, nothing annoying or anything, just gentle conversation. And so I took, he sort of, put his hands up and then, okay, I give up and whatever. And I took his photograph. I think I took two photographs of him. And yeah, I, who knows where he is? Who knows if he managed to um, uh, find peace within himself or, goodness, or whether his liver gave up or if he's still around. I mean, it's quite a long time ago. And I just thought about that, you know, how we wander around a lot and we, there are people we see but decide we're not going to look at them and decide we're not going to talk to them. And I can remember being a kid when uh, people would come to our house, adults, and sometimes they were a bit tipsy. I didn't know what it was, but you noticed that they, were, they couldn't walk straight and I would be staring and looking and my mom would tell me, don't look like that and don't look at people in that way. But anyway, this was a, a I will call him a fine fellow, fine Amsterdam native. He... Um, he couldn't take modern life as well as some other people, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. And uh, I hope uh, if he's still around, life is good. If he's passed, I hope the rest of his life was uh, relaxed and without too many problems. Yeah, so that's him.